okay guys welcome to my channel and i want to say thank you for those that have subscribed and as many that are yet to subscribe please do and as you do the lord bless you don't forget to turn on the notification button so when we drop new video you'll be the first to get notified all right guys this is a great testimony by Nathaniel Pasty, and i tell you you're gonna like it so let's listen to him and find out what he has to say about what happened to him just listen god bless you and then just saying babe i'm coming i'm on my way and then i went to the airport as i went to the airport keep playing as i went to the airport it seemed good to the holy ghost and i not to travel that day now it was going to cost me almost two thousand dollars but i knew i had god so i said i'm not traveling again today i, I rented a, a hotel near heathrow near heathrow and i just stayed there now i just obeyed i didn't know why i shouldn't travel i didn't feel it was a plane crash or whatever i just felt don't travel today i told my wife i'm not traveling few hours later my wife calls me on facetime she had collapsed and just with her last strength baby any help nobody nobody i can't i saw my wife going i said babe now what did god do because my wife called me and she got me on the phone i was able to call for help and they went home to take her if i was on that flight she wouldn't have reached me this this person we call the holy ghost don't joke with him when they say be a person of the spirit it's not it's not a is is that's your life so i called for help her sister had gone out they went home took my wife to the hospital anyway we were we had effected the song of deliverance and so we saw the hand of god we were seeing the hand of the god and, and of god and then we were led to move her from the hospital because my wife was pale she was losing life they didn't see what was happening then we felt led again to go to one particular hospital a pastor friend of mine called you know who i who i mean i ministered with her and it was through her ministry that you know i met my wife so she just called me said nathaniel i feel strongly in my spirit to move sarah to this hospital in lekki we went there she was already pale we don't know what happened then that doctor a redeemed parish a redeemed pastor who was supposed to be in ikbaja he said something constrained me to come to the hospital by the time he came and tested my wife he said ah this is ectopic now can't you see and then he turned to me he said tell me about yourself he said because i was not supposed to be here i said my name is pastor nathan he said say no wonder no wonder i i was not supposed to be here that's how god saved my wife's life through effect through the oppression of the song of deliverance that moved the hand of god back to my american story i was in that flight and i heard the song he turned it and i learned the oppression of the song of deliverance that when you hear a song of deliverance you have to declare it it's in declaring it that you effect the deliverance so in the plane i'm like he turned it just quietly just singing it just singing it and all of a sudden the pilot just said to us ladies and gentlemen something just appeared on the screen we don't know what it is but we must find a way to land immediately as time may be running out as he gave that announcement it became james bond time <laughs> just trying to find time remember i booked a wrong airport eh? and god came the word of god came to me through a song he turned it he moved he moved he moved and i said when i heard it i knew that god had already gone ahead so i, I began to give thanks just singing your alpha and omega and just singing and i saw you both uh, you both were more quiet you know if you were our people i know that we would have prayed that plane down and slandered it so they didn't talk but i didn't know they were watching me so the guy moved and they were looking for for a nearest airport the word i got was he turned it if you listen to Ty Tribe's song it is he turned he turned it for good right what was meant for evil so by the time we landed fire trucks in the u.s just by god's grace we landed fire trucks came you know surrounded us and then we disembarked the plane then they now checked they came into the plane the engineers came i saw that they went out and they were upset 
So this was just something now that she should have clicked now. There was nothing wrong, you know. It was just a small fault that they just wasted our time. But what did happen? When we came back, they announced that they, had, they landed me in the airport I should have landed. He said he turned it for good. Listen to me. So, so while I was standing, I was standing with some, some Oyibo, some white. So they came to me and actually said, thank you for helping us land the plane i'm like why he said your singing encouraged us when they announced boarding we, that you know we had to board and thank god i didn't check in any luggage it was just hand luggage so i said to them okay and, and they said to me okay let's let's go back in the plane and they were trying to talk to me you know are you a musician are you a pastor so i said to them oh i don't need to board the plane this is the airport i was supposed to land the man said don't tell me you got the plane here just to land i said my god his son was on this plane he turned everything around for my good that is the god we serve he what was meant for evil he turned for good oh evil man said he the person knew he said you made this plane come here i said yes i said i booked the wrong airports before somebody say a song of deliverance what is my point why am i saying here praise team when you come here you may have planned to have a very nice song three good songs but somebody in the holy ghost that the holy spirit is moving on and the, and the lord just says change gear you better learn to change you better learn to adjust because that song can be a song of escape for someone it can be a song that god wants to hear but you see if we don't have a church structure that accommodates this we will lose out on a lot of things sometimes you plan for three songs god will say just stay on that one and then the prophetic song begins to come when a service because i pastor a church and also i'm also a, a sound so i allow that atmosphere in our church the ruach elohim you heard is from our meeting because as you worship as you go to a climax that is the zone where a new song comes hallelujah a came like that hallelujah when he said he's just worshiping and then he roared he came as tehila and it's spontaneous on rehearsed songs and when they come like that god uses them as an instrument for deliverance to speak to people to minister to his people that's why when you you read my bio i said music is an instrument to minister to god and also an avenue where he ministers to his people there are times when he also sings over you with rejoicing those are prophetic ministry and we have to in these last days learn to teach our warriors to war like that we're singing like that february this year hallelujah challenge i think day 18 when we just kept going the mighty God just invaded when we began to sing Olorun Agbaye you are mighty we we got into a realm and I knew he came in and it was in that service that I heard the word I said who is Olu of something there's an Olu of something the Midianites are gathered against you and God has, is saying that the, as we praise and pray now he has gone ahead of you I didn't know that there was one Olu of worry he's on, he's on record so we word and they sent me an email say man of god that person you described is this person and indeed midianites i described the midianites were gathered and through that praise we effected victory praise is dangerous so when we minister to god how about dancing oh dancing one maybe i will speak with pastor one day we'll come and engage this tools god gives us do you know what it means to dance prophetically before god when you dance in the spirit you literally turn things around jeremiah 31 13 jeremiah 31 13 jeremiah 31 13 oh there's a way we fight in this kingdom oh. I've, and i've seen god fight too oh yes oh yes believe me then shall the virgin rejoice in what they dance both young men and old together for what will happen 
so you go to the office and some people decide to gather against you no problem wake up at 12 midnight look for a holy ghost feel song lock your room just begin to dance just begin to dance that's all i come up here come up here let's 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 walk this a bit when they come against you thank you for watching god bless you like comment and subscribe